Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, and in today's episode, we are going to be saving a little girl. Um, in the last episode, we got two uh, around this area, and I think we can get a new encounter here. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. And we're going to get a Pidgey. Too bad that we already have one. So Excalibur's going to come out. Level 49, that's pretty good. It's been about a week since I've recorded this. Um, I've been in North Carolina the whole time, and uh, I haven't been able to record anything. So, yeah, it's time to get back crack a that sort of dealio, and uh, start getting back to work. So we got twins Joy and Meg coming out with their Clefairies, and I think we're going to try to avoid trainers as much as possible, um, you know, for this episode. I'm thinking that after we beat the gym, in the next episode, we can go through... Uh, Victory Road, and then once we get to the Elite Four, we can take out all the trainers here, as well as all the trainers uh, that we missed at Victory Road. We can do a bit more grinding there, get everyone up to around level 55. I feel like that's a safe level that we can get everyone to. And once we get there, once we get there, I think we're going to be in really good shape to take on the Elite Four. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and take down the Clefairy. Okay, Excalibur's going to get some experience, and um... I did my research on the gym that is coming up, and it really isn't too much to worry about. I think Excalibur, on his own, is going to be able to take out the majority of the people on uh, the gym leader's team, and that sort of thing. So, really, I think it's going to be easy as long as we can get through the puzzle unscathed. So, let's go and see what we can find here. A Max Repel, that's pretty good. And uh, let's go ahead and continue on. We're going to want to make sure... Um, that we don't really miss a whole lot because, you know, it... Oh wait, Duke's Claws. That's a thing. Uh, but I don't really need a Horsey. Horsey's not too great, and we already have a Water-type, so... It's not like he's gonna be doing us too many favors. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Well, uh, ma'am. You see, there's a little girl that needs saving, and I can't battle you right now. But, uh, yeah, so... I I've been thinking a lot on what I want to do for the next series. And I'm, I still don't know what I want to do fully. Um, there's still a lot up in the air on exactly what I want to do. I'm thinking that... Uh, I don't know. There's a lot of questions that I have about, like, you know, what would happen. But it's going to be a mystery. It is going to be a mystery. Because uh, it's probably going to be something that you guys wouldn't fully expect. Because, you know, that's what I do. I'm just kidding, but, uh, yeah, so, Ivysaur number two coming out, that's pretty good, but level 36, that's awesome, let's go for another double edge, take you out, what happens if it, like, gets a crit with a double edge, does it do twice the amount of recoil damage, or what? Not 100% clear on that, but, uh, I have a really cool wallpaper on my computer, something that's not really relevant, but I felt like it needed to be said. <laughs> it's, um, if you guys have played Fallout New Vegas, it's the Lonesome Road. Uh, sort of picture. I, I think it's really cool. It's like artistic. It's not like a screenshot or anything. It's really cool looking and um, yeah, Fallout is a great game. It's beautiful. Uh, okay, so let's go and no stop it lady. Okay, <laughs> let's just talk to you. Yay, yay, Pokemon! Okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, there are a lot of trainers at the Sevi Islands. That's all I can say. Um, I tried recording this episode last week, but I ended up just, you know, not. Uh, I got, like, halfway through recording, um, this episode, and then I was like, uh, you know, I can wait until next week, which was really stupid. I don't know why I did that, to be completely honest. Um, this is gonna go up on the Monday right after this. I'm recording this on Saturday. Ah, <sighs> yeah, so... The the uh the pressure is real to uh get to get this stuff recorded for this week. Um, school starting up soon as well, so I'm gonna need to be really careful about uh you know keeping this upload schedule at least kind of similar. I'm thinking we're probably gonna revert back to the two videos a week uh, that we did last year. Um, for the most part, uh, you know, in the beginning of the channel it was a bit rocky. I uploaded probably like once every two weeks, which was bad, but you know, I've gotten better. I've gotten way better at recording on time and keeping a consistent schedule. Just because, you know, 
I've found ways to make editing a bit easier for me and that and all that jazz. Uh, and I think, you know, content-wise, I think it's getting... I think it's a lot better than uh, the first upload that I ever created on this channel. Um, to be honest, I've been doing YouTube for about two years, and uh, this is my second channel. Um, th those of you who have been with me for a while I know that, but for those of you that didn't, I had a channel called Guile Games 98 and on that channel, I played Pokemon as well, but, you know, it was not as good as, uh, you know, what I've been doing here for the past few months. I think I've really gotten better at, uh, you know, inflection and, and that sort of stuff, and I feel like, um, you know, if I were to, I don't know, if I, w if I showed you guys the first upload I did on this channel, like, I started this channel after I got a blue snowball because I wanted to, like, a fresh start on, like, um, I wanted to rebrand myself as well because it was Kyle Games 98 but my name is Patrick so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So, yeah, I was like, okay, this is not working. And I only had, like, 70-something subs, so it was like, eh, I think it's worth investing in a new channel. So, um, yeah, I got a blue snowball, started this one. And, uh, the first video that I have is so bad on this channel. It's like, ah, oh, god, I don't know. Like, um, I, like, the audio for the game was not in sync with the actual game, and I don't understand how that happens. Like, I'm so glad that I got away from Camtasia because it doesn't work on Mac. It does not. Like, um, I would be recording and, like, halfway through the episode, the audio would get out of sync and, like, the Pokemon would come in and then its battle cry would be minutes later and then, you know, the menu screen sounds would be, like, completely out of sync and it would just be bad. It was bad. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just glad that I have gotten away from that software. If, it may have gotten better over the past few years, or years, months. Uh, I'm just not going back to it. ScreenFlow works for me. Um, I've learned how to use it effectively uh, in the same way that I used Camtasia. So, I don't know, but I think it is really good editing software that's in ScreenFlow. I mean, you know, Adobe Premiere, which is what I use for videos, uh, like real life, IRL, that sort of dealio. It's gonna be better, but you know, for for your average, you know, let's play video, ScreenFlow is gonna work just fine. So, Mac people, get on it, get get that software. Okay, so I think this is the end. Yep, here is L Lostel. I thought it was Lynette. Lostel. A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It kept scaring me. It made Lostel scared. I'm too scared to move, but I want to go home. Oh, here it comes. No, go away. Ah, I want my dad. Okay, so this part is one of the creepier parts in Pokemon. We got a humanoid Pokemon abducting a probably four-year-old, which is uh, creepy, very creepy, and it's, uh, it's weird. It's really weird and I don't like it, so he's going to get confused. That's fine. We're going to have to kill him because, you know, it's a hypno. It's weird. Poison gas, you know what that is. It's, uh, I don't know, but what if he had sleep powder? That would be even creepier. <laughs> okay, so let's go for a psychic. I think we can be fine with the poison that we have right now for a little bit. Um, he's still going to be confused. It's not like we're going to get toxic damage or anything. Meditate, that's going to raise stats. Attack Rose, not that that's a big deal because, you know, it's a hypno. It's not a physical type Pokemon, so that's fine. And I think... I think uh, the randomizer that I used, it makes it so that the physical special split is modern, which is actually really, really cool. So it makes it so that, you know, your Gen 3 games are still up to date and you can, you know, be safe with, uh, you know, using attacks and all that jazz. So, Hypno, see you later, buddy. Not really, buddy, you're kind of creepy. Oh, that was so scary, thank you. Let's tell Kim to pick berries, you can have this. Yappa berry. Yeah, Papa Berry. What's your name? Lestel's scared, so can I go with you to my dad's house? Okay, let's go home. So you rescued Lestel. How can I thank you? Lestel, darling, forgive me. Daddy didn't know you were scared and in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Patrick. I don't talk to you. Oh, what's that? You're saying that this is for me. How did you know that I love rare rocks and gems? You sure know how to make a guy happy. Okay, so we gave him the meteorite, which is good. 
Oh, I see it's from Bill. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. A moonstone. Not that we need it, but that's always good. So, uh, we're gonna head out of here, head back to Bill, and go home. Ooh, and we also need to heal up on the poison. Did I get rid of these things, or was that when I was... No, I did not. I did not get rid of uh, some of the old things. Actually... Oh, ah, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Okay, we're gonna go to the bottom. I know we're there. I know there's stuff down here. Let's go for some full heals and get Piglet all healed up so he doesn't die, which is good. Oh no. Okay, so, um, we're gonna head back. Uh, Piglet, I think we're gonna focus on him for a little bit. Ahoy there, where are we going? We're going to one island, sir. Okay, so, got that nice cinematic look, and we're gonna head back. Awesome. Okay, so, one island, and we're gonna head into the Pokemon Center, I think this is. Okay, and let's talk to Bill. Oh, hey, Patrick. What kept you so long? Uh, we got it. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no, no. There was almost nothing left for me to do. Celio, I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. Oh, really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I've finished the job. Uh, we should head back to Kanto. Celio, I'll be seeing you again. Patrick, I'm really sorry that we had to send you off alone today. I promise I will show you around these islands sometime. Well, you know, probably not because, you know, by the time we finish the Elite Four, I'm probably going to abandon this game. Hey, wasn't that a long cruise? My b b buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri -pass, you can always take a ferry there from a familiar port. All right, thank you for your company. Timmy. Okay, so that's, uh, yeah, his voice is my impression of Timmy from uh, South Park. So there you have it. Okay, so I don't know, that's, that's kind of a nerdy voice that I can do. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to head out of here. Obviously, as you guys can already tell, and uh, Cinnabar Island. Okay, so um, what we got to do now is we got to head to Vermilion. No, Viridian. There's so many weird V names in this game. Whatever. I'm gonna take a break real fast and do a bit of research to see the gym layout to find the easiest way to get through it. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, and we're back. So let's go ahead and heal up, uh, just so that we, you know, are all healed up obviously uh so let's do this and okay so i know how to get through the gym now um not exactly hard i can say with uh, a bit of confidence uh we're also going to be after we take on this place is also going to be a bit of a grinding hub for us um because there are a lot of trainers here most of them i don't want to go through uh in this episode i just want to get to the gym leader and uh all that jazz so we're gonna head through here, and so we got three uh, trainers right there. We're gonna have to take this trainer, no matter what. The truly talented win with style. Or, you know, with uh, brains, if that's their talent, or, uh, you know, talent, it, it can uh, go in a lot of places, you see? Okay, so uh, let's go for a Psychic, see how much damage we can do with that. Is it gonna be a lot? Oh, it is. Okay, awesome. Bone Meringue, that's going to do a bit of damage. Oh, I, ooh, yeah, I forgot that it's a double attacking move. I think it's double attacking at least because, you know, that would make sense. But Psychic, how much damage is that going to do? Going to take him out. Awesome. Marowak, see you later, buddy. Piglet, we're going to need you up to level 50 sometime soon. And with this Need Arena coming out, that is a poison type, meaning that Psychic is going to do a lot of damage to you. Yes, okay, so... Uh, Piglet and Excalibur are gonna be our two main guys, our two main dudes in this gym. Um, Excalibur for the ground types and Piglet for the poison types. Even though Pig Excalibur would still be good for the poison types because, you know, they're, they're half ground most of the time, unless it's like a Neat Arena or a Neat Rhino. Yeah, but if it's one of those, then yeah, we're gonna use Piglet, but if it's one of the fully evolved ones, then. You see, you know, Excalibur would work very well in that scenario as well. So, let's go for a Psychic, see how much damage we can do. Maybe we can take him out. Yes? Ah, uh, god. I was thinking that because we're, you know, level 46, maybe we could, uh, you know, do that. Because, you know, why not? But, 
Okay, so let's go for a side beam. This move, hyper potion. Really, dude? Really? Ah, uh, oh well. But let's go for another side beam. Maybe we can get him over half. Okay, that works. Let's go for another side beam and take him out with that. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, possum. Okay, so Piglet's gonna get that experience, that lovely, lovely experience, up to almost level 47, about halfway there. Not exactly good, but not exactly bad either. So Excalibur's gonna be coming out. Uh, he's gonna take out this Rhyhorn right nice and quick with that all too nice and good surf. Okay, and are we gonna be able to take him out? Yes, we are. I don't even think that Sturdy is an ability in this game, so we're lucky with that, especially with all these Pokemon that I think have Sturdy, um, and that sort of thing in this gym. Uh, let's go for a Hyper Potion. I honestly have no idea what Pokemon have what abilities. You're, I'm just winging it when I'm talking about that stuff, so I have not been doing too much competitive battling, so you're gonna have to excuse me for that, but I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. So we're gonna have to move this guy out of the way, and then we're gonna have to, you know, find another route to uh, take, but I think we're gonna go and heal up, so it's not gonna be a huge deal, because we need, you know, Piglet to have full PP on all of his moves, and that sort of thing, so let's take out this Machoke, and I think this is the last trainer we need, we need to take down before we go ahead and challenge the gym leader. I'm pretty sure I've said who the gym leader is, but just in case, I'm not gonna spoil it. I I'm sure you guys all know who the gym leader is too, but, you know, I'm sure there's at least someone in the world who hasn't played played these games that is watching it right now, so... <sighs> if you haven't played these games, get on it. They're great. You know, I... Kanto, it's an okay region. It's okay. I mean, it's definitely not my favorite. It's not my top three, um, but, you know, I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I mean, you know, it's it's kind of a boring region, to be completely honest, but, you know, so is Johto. Most of the newer regions are actually pretty entertaining. You know, this and Johto are just like giant fields of grass everywhere. That's pretty much it. It's like, oh, there's one forest. Good on you. No desert, no nothing, just plains. Ah, oh well, but I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. I guess Johto does have a bit more mountains, kind of, you know, because, mm, I don't know. Johto has a lot of caves too, though. I don't know. This game also has a lot of caves, so it's the cavey, so does that mean it's mountainous? I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, I guess it does, kind of. Hmm. Makes you think, doesn't it? Not really, but uh, we're going to move around here, get into the jam and uh, head back the way that we came. Okay, let's be super duper careful because we don't want to challenge any trainers. Why would we want to do that? Why in the world would we want to do that? I don't know, but... So we have Giovanni here. I think we should go ahead and switch Excalibur out. No, 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 no. I think Piglet's going to be good in front. Wah! -ha. Welcome to my hideout. It should... It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. Okay, so we are facing leader Giovanni with a Rhyhorn coming out. Okay, so it would have been a good idea to send Excalibur out in the beginning, but, you know, we all make mistakes. Okay, so let's go ahead and send Excalibur out. I doubt he's going to switch out or do anything too, you know, mind-boggling. Scary face. That's going to be fine. No big deal there. I think that lowers speed, yeah. It's not that important though because this gym, I think it's pretty notorious for being pretty slow Pokemon build. I don't know. I don't know. But I think, yeah, I think most of his Pokemon are pretty slow, so I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Okay, and who's coming up next? Doug Trio. Excalibur, you're still gonna be in the lead. You're doing pretty good for yourself. Doug Trio, I think, yeah, you're pretty quick. You're a pretty quick little guy. Okay, Earthquake, that's gonna do a bit... Ah! No, it's not. I didn't... Mm, I didn't realize that. It was gonna do so little. I guess Dugtrio isn't really that great of a Pokemon, though, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, Nidoqueen coming out. Uh, let's go ahead and throw Piglet out so we can get a bit of experience. We need him up to level 50 as well, just to make grinding a bit easier uh, through the Elite... No, not the Elite 4, through Victory Road. 
so let's go for a psychic maybe we can take out this nido queen i'm thinking we're gonna be able to but okay awesome we took it out super effective awesome nido queen see you later lady and Piglet's going to get a bit of experience, and Nido King is going to come out. Piglet, you're going to be good for that too. I believe in you, buddy. Okay. I like how both Nido King and Nido Queen aren't necessarily his aces because they are the highest level Pokemon that he has. Um, I'm pretty sure it's like a Rhyhorn. That's like his highest level Pokemon, which makes no sense. Yeah, his Rhyhorn is like his ace. It's level 50. What the heck? Who, who thinks of that? And it's like, oh, well, you know, you have these two great Pokemon. They kind of are like his ace, but, you know, let's let's go ahead and make the highest level Pokemon a Rhyhorn. Not a Rhydon, a Rhyhorn. I don't think I've even seen a Rhy Rhydon through this entire series so far. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. This is weird, okay? This gym is weird. Ah. <sighs> You know, it's a bit different in Johto. I think it's pretty cool in Johto. At least in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, this gym was really cool. Um, but you know, whatever. Piglet up to level 48, that's pretty good. Awesome, and I, we, we beat him. Okay, Leader Giovanni is down. Ha! That was a truly intense fight. You have won. This proof, here's the Earth Badge. Boom! Eight badges. Layout complete. Awesome. We have our team slots filled, and we have the badges fulfilled. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evident of your mastery of, as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it as a gift for your po nah, nah, Pokemon League, whatever. Okay, I think that's Earthquake. Yes, okay. It's a powerful attack. Um, we're going to be giving that to Nidoking in, in a bit. Um, but until then, we are going to sign off. So we've beaten all eight gyms. In the next episode, we are going to be going through Victory Road. So I hope you guys are going to stick around for that. Um, please don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. It really helps me out and shows your support. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch the rest of this series or others like it, or really any series that I do on this channel. Don't forget to check out Intra Gaming, my collaboration channel. Almost every Friday, I post a video there. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Gaming Goat HD. And thank you all for watching, and as always, have a great day.